everyone hope you're doing well back again with another quick video uh showing some more of my collection some different hauls different things like that so in this video we're going to take a look at another prop recently that i got from trick or treat studios um it is a newish release it is the hellraiser inferno lament configuration box it was designed by a guy uh, by the name of mark phillips so it's officially licensed from hellraiser inferno specifically um, it was designed using scans of the actual screen used box. Um, it's three inches and made of solid redwood with a nickel etching, um, exactly like the, the one used in the movie. Um, it comes in a collector's box, a windowed box. I actually don't have it to hand right now. It's in storage, um, but you can display it in the box if you want to. Um, it comes in retail, I think, at $99, $100 basically. Um, close to 100 euros 100 pounds nearly anywhere you go it's it's in or around that price range you can get it directly from you know your usual places or trickortreatstudios.com uh, if you look on ebay and places like that you are going to pay more which is it's just always the way it is and um, so yeah without further ado we're going to take a quick look at this so we have the box here you can kind of see from the light already the shine that it gives off so i'm just going to move it closer and i'll show you each individual side got this side and we are there this side and these sides have a black finish behind them you can see it's a really nice piece I personally love this. It has nice weight to it. Um, it's a good size, you know, as you can see. Um, it, it feels exactly like it should, I think. The fact that it's solid and it has a bit of weight to it really makes all the difference for me. Um, I've had ones in the past that are 3D printed um, and they're just hollow. Now, they're cool, they're a nice piece, but when you get them up close, they don't feel that great. Um, and they don't look that great either. Um, but I guess you're, you're paying $100 for this. You're going to pay maybe $20, $30 for a 3D printed one. So you get what you pay for, basically. The only thing I've seen people online had given out about this was the fact that the box can't be um, taken apart, like the puzzle, and put in different configurations. I don't really have a problem with that, to be totally honest. It would be nice, in a way... Um, but I'm sure that down the line, seeing as this has been quite successful for them, they will probably bring out versions once they get the license for other movies or whatever, with it in different configurations. Um, it does also come with just your basic, I would imagine it's a 3D printed stand. So it sits in the stand like so, which is, again, perfect. I mean, it's... It would have been nice for $100. I understand this probably took a lot of, you know, effort and time and just, it is a quality collector's piece. Um, it For me, it would have been nicer if this was just a small bit bigger and maybe we got the, the name of the movie or something like that on it. You know, some sort of a, a, of a plaque kind of a thing. Uh, it didn't even have to be big, but look, I, I get it. Um, you know, it, it is a quality piece, like I said. Um, I would recommend for anyone who is a Hellraiser fan or anybody who likes to collect, maybe create your own home office museum kind of a thing. That's kind of what I like. And um, for anyone who does like that, this is definitely a must have piece. I'm not sure, uh, we've seen it in the past at Trick Tree Studios. A lot of people try and wait on these things and, you know, you leave it thinking, oh, I'll get it cheaper down the line. Um, a lot of times what seems to happen with Trigger Tree Studios is they sell out and then you have to pay like five times the odds to get your, your item. So from scalpers and stuff like that online. So um, like I said, check this out. Uh, I myself got it from Mad About Horror, um, which are based in the UK. Great guys, really easy to deal with. Good prices, competitive for anybody who's in Europe uh, or the UK or Ireland or anywhere like that. And um, if you're going stateside, you've got Trick or Treat Studios themselves. They have their own website where they sell all their own stock. 
or you could check out something like Nightmares Toys and uh, Nightmare Toys, which are based in Las Vegas, but they do have a website. Um, Christy and all the guys over there are great, so I would recommend them as well. But um, as always, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you pick this up, what you think of it. Do you have any other Lament configuration boxes and what they're like? Um, and thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.